All right, I'm doing some car camping today, and the swamp campers just arrived. How you doing, and he's YouTubers? he's got some uh, interesting bushcrafting. My newest hobby is uh, bow making, and uh, forgive me if it doesn't look the best because this is my first bow. I have cypress, a stave, and you just started right with the cypress branch originally. That's all I did. Uh, I sanded it down. I used a knife to carve it. Uh, it's not perfectly straight, but it's it's straight enough. So once I got it to the desired length, I cut my notches at each end. And uh, and that's over six feet, huh? It's over that six bow, feet. wow. I'm five six. That's about it's <laughs> about six feet. That's pretty cool. So then I tied some some hemp and took bamboo from my backyard and little by little I've been increasing the length of the bamboo to gradually bend the, 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 the cypress. You can't do it all at once otherwise you'll snap it. So Nice. And you're going to have I guess some sort of leather band where your uh, hands would go? Yeah. I'm going to cut a piece of leather, soften it, make it supple and then I'm going to tie it with some sinew. Nice. But in the process, too, I thought, you know, that's kind of simple. I'd like something I can put in the backyard to actually age in the sun and get acclimated with the temperature changes in Florida because January, December, February, it can be 80, 90, down to 60, 50, 40. So I built a my own tiller using another piece of bamboo that I cut and then I used a uh, torch and browned it and then I used lacquer and I lacquered the entire thing. Then I took some smaller pieces of bamboo, tempered them, <coughs> lacquered them, and then I drilled holes. And I didn't really want to build an elaborate stand for it so I simply took more bamboo nature's hardware store and drive it into the ground this fits inside it cool right there and then what I do is I get rid of this little piece of bamboo in the center and I set this there and then you just start and moving these down gradually every five days I will take one of these out and put this in the hole. It's in the hole! It's in the hole <laughs> my friends! And then before I do so I use a steamer and I steam this and I make it a little more pliable taking the fibers and making them more uh, bendable. So at the end result will probably end up someplace down here. Cool. And then Again, I'm not into hunting, I'm not into killing or anything like that, but it's uh, it's a neat hobby, it's fun. Now you uh, based this on a Native American um, the, tribe? or The cypress bow is uh, made up after the Calusa Indians, which inhabited the southwestern portion of Florida for almost... Pre-Columbian. Pre-Columbian, uh, yeah. 2,000 years. Uh, they... they they had an elaborate system of building their homes on mounds of shell. They had a, a political system, democratic. They were very warlike, so not many other tribes like the Seminoles or the... Uh, um, well, they were probably gone by the time the Seminoles got there. There were skirmishes. I think that, what is it, Timakua was the other Timakua tribe. and... Uh, or Tamikawa, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Around 1500, after the Spanish started coming in numbers, the Calusa died out because of illnesses brought by the Europeans, smallpox, colds, and many of them fled to Cuba. And they had 20-foot dugout canoes that they used to, to move themselves back and forth, some of them to Cuba, some of them to South America. 
So that's cool stuff. That's there awesome. Are, there are descendants of Calusas. They were actually taller, taller than the average Indian, and they were very warlike, so not very hospitable people. That's cool. I can't wait to see what this uh, bow looks like when you have it all completed. Sure.